What's up, everyone? Danny Lynam back, and the Focusrite Scarlet 2i2 just got a really amazing update. If you open up the Focusrite Control 2 software and update it, you're now going to get this little direct tab, and if you click on this, you're going to see three sliders. Slider number one will turn the volume of input one up or down, so whatever instrument or microphone you have plugged into input one, that slider will adjust that volume, but it's only going to adjust it in your headphones. It's not going to change the recording. This is only a headphone amp volume adjustment. Slider number two will adjust the microphone or instrument plugged into input two on the 2i2. And then we have the playback one, which is amazing. So if you notice you're playing back audio on your computer and it's so much louder than your voice and you can no longer hear yourself through the, through the headphones, all you got to do is grab this slider and turn this down. Again, this is not affecting the volume of the things on your recording, only what you're hearing through the headphones, but it'll allow you to get the, the volume of the playback to the right level to where you can still hear yourself and you can hear the rest of the audio playing back on the PC at whatever volume you would like. So monitor mix is amazing. That's one thing I wish all interfaces had. So Scarlett, Focusrite, whatever. <laughs> Thank you so much for adding that. You guys are awesome. I think every single audio interface out there should have that, especially for somebody who's like a YouTuber or a gamer. We often have other audio playing back. We still want to be able to hear a voice instead of having the computer audio drowning it out. So this is awesome. Thank you, Focusrite. Now, if they could just add a couple of different air modes, maybe allow us to lock our gain in a specific place or give us a little number so we can see what the gain's actually at. Oh my gosh, I just hit my microphone. But it sucks to have your gain set up just perfectly and then all of a sudden you bump the little knob and you change it or if you switch microphones, you have to readjust the gain constantly. If they could give us some gain presets or, or something to make that a little bit easier, that would be amazing. That would be a huge, huge improvement. But thank you so much for the monitor mix. That is amazing. All right, I think it's going to wrap this video up. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. If you drop down the video's description, you'll find my Discord server, my other YouTube channels, some affiliate links like for Waves plugins, some Amazon stuff, or some really cool podcasting, microphones, lighting, whatever gear you want. There's a bunch of really awesome stuff on there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will catch you next time. Lightning out. See ya.